All right, just wanted to make a quick video about the HVAC controls. This is a 1988 F-150 custom with no AC. So what happened is the blend, well, it's not blend. Let me get my hand out of the way here. The cable that directs the air from defrost to mix to floor to panel is held by a clip right where my finger is, right here. And if you look, I don't know, I thought I had my uh, light turned on on this video, but you can see the elbow move there. If you look on there, what I've done is I've put a, I put a large tie wrap there because right where my finger is, that part of the cable support broke. So that's a large tie wrap holding that down. So I got that working. I want to show you the other end of that. Okay. So that's that's your panel, floor, mix, defrost switch. And I want to show you the other end of it. It's the other end is see where I am. You go under the dash, you look up, and there's the other end of it. So the other crucial part is this green clip right here that supports the cable so it doesn't move the cable uh, covering. If it, if it comes out of that clip, the cable's not going to do anything. The whole cable will move, so you need need to have it in that green clip. All right. The other part of the job is the blend door. I keep saying blend door, but it's actually not a blend door. That's stuck in my head because there is a vacuum-operated blend door here. All right. The problem with this is right there the cable's bent it should be straight so when i try to move it you, you might have you might have been able to follow at that time it hung up on the bottom of the uh white plastic frame uh same thing going on with it if you look right where that blue clip is, it's broken. So I'm going to put another tie wrap on it. And the other end of it is right here. There's your heater core. The other end of it is right there right here oh you can see the outer cable moves but that's not a defect because on your heater core cover right here which I have disassembled is the green clip that will keep that cable from moving. So yeah, right now it moves and that, that looks like a problem, but it's not because when I put the cover back on, that green clip will hold that cable. The green clip right here where my thumb is. So what I need to do to get it operational is get this clip up into that support frame and zip tie it there and then straighten out the wire where my thumb is and it'll be operational.
And that, to me, that's better than taking the entire dashboard apart or trying to fix it other ways. So that's it. Again, that's a 1988 Ford F-150, no air conditioning, cable-operated controls. Thanks for watching.